for 25 years. This has been home all summer long? This has been home. I've probably spent more time back here inside the scoreboard than anywhere else on earth. You have seen through, through slits and openings, I mean, great moments. You're standing where most left fielders are standing because you're so close to home plate. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to miss the most, which is the best seat in the house, having a unique perspective, being able to hear the left fielders talk. Um, and we are so close to the action here at Fenway. It's, uh, I'm just, just so grateful to have the opportunity. It's been a, a wild ride. The Fisk pole, the pesky pole, they name this the Manny Door someday. Does it become the Manny Door? <laughs> well, you know, he kind of put us on the map uh, unintentionally, and we are closely associated with Manny Ramirez and stuff. Sometimes we'd have to give Manny a little a kick in the behind to, make, to get him back out to play his position, but, you know, we were so hospitable back here. We had some fruit ready for him, and, and uh, I'd like to think we were good conversationalists, so he wanted to stay. All right, let's go inside. Let's check right. out the office. Cool. This is it, home away from home. And the first thing you know is the autographs everywhere, the history, so much tradition. Yeah, this is it. There are autographs from as far back as the 50s to last homestand, so it's a, a nice part of the tradition. And I noticed that uh, you being in charge, the Christian Elias autograph gets a slightly bigger font than the players themselves. Well, you know, TC, I've been back here for over 1,800 games, so I certainly have had the time and uh, I hope you like the artwork. Your daughters made it in there, that's pretty cool. It's very cool, and they've had the opportunity to come in here uh, numerous times. Madison is seven, Avery is three. They don't really get it, but, uh, but they, they love to come in here and run around a little bit. They will get to see Dad a whole lot more now. Uh, what will you miss most about not being here next summer? I'm gonna really miss the games, because that's that's why I've been here for so long. I love baseball. I have a passion for baseball. I love sitting here from this unique spot, the best seat in the house, and watching the game. And that's what I'm going to miss. So you get to hang here during a ball game. This is it. This is the, the view here. And uh, as you can see, it is uh, just one in a million. It's, it's a great spot. Was there a time, maybe 16, 17 years ago, did you ever think the ballpark would look as good as it does now? No. Um, no, it looks incredible. You know, I, I haven't, I kind of like my area here. I'm loyal to my space back here. But just looking around, the ballpark's great. Uh, I consider myself just so lucky and blessed to have this opportunity that, that people would just, uh, you know, absolutely um, jump at. And so, you know, I, I'm going to miss it, but it's, uh, the ballpark's beautiful and it's time to sort of pass the torch to the, the next generation of scorekeepers. And what's your advice to the guy who takes over here? Don't drink a lot of water before the game. <laughs> there are no facilities back here, it should be pointed out. And, and, uh, and, and look out for rain delays. <laughs> don't make any plans after the game. Yeah, don't, and don't ever mention how fast the game is going. Okay? Right. There are certain rules that That's cannot be broken. That's the kiss of death. <laughs> thanks, Chris. Okay, thanks, TC.